tower. It's alive. seem to have a mind of their own. Oh, <laughs> 
If I were Barnabas, where would I be? The top. So I could look down on the world. This might take a while.
That's new. Though I expect it'll fall like all the rest. Over here! Attack! Over here! Get him! Thank <laughs> you. 
get him. Nice try. Almost there. Here. I can feel him. Proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering, shall I prove my faith once more. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you, but the weakness of yours. Get him! 
This one, I'm tired of this. you to serve as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope, when there is none. Ugh. Fuck! Desperate, are we? been shown the path. Now you must follow it. Free yourself, Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. We'll see. Perhaps you still require persuasion. Go, Togo! This one! This one.
When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. What are you waiting for? Men know nothing of strength. What do you will? Yes, 
so it ends. <laughs> Don't tell me you are tired, Mythos. Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations. I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self-indulgence a dream forever out of reach. And now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it. Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it! <laughs> Disappointment of lesser rivals, but no more. Oh, my constant congregation, salvation is come. Rejoice as our souls are granted peace unending. How do you know this day will come? What proof have you? Why you, Mythos? Your mere existence is proof of the Lord's grand design. No. I'll never serve your God! Ah! 
truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield.
Perhaps there is strength in will. Would that I had not relinquished my own. <laughs> you relinquished nothing. What was it, if not will, that made you strive for a new world? Strive to win your master's approval? You were shown a fantasy, and you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world but the one we live in. And that world, that world is worth saving. Even if it means killing a god. Bold words. From one who has served the Lord so well. This is pointless. Ah, but I almost forgot. <laughs> I promised that I would make you presentable. Did I not? shall fulfill our destinies just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home. Tell me, how does it feel? Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate.
alive. Thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lords. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice, all to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. We know that the Mother Crystals have been leading the land of Ether, And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the Blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a freet that he desires, but a freet and phoenix both, that which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless there is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell a spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. But if we destroy them all, we will stop not only the Blight, but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time, we face him together. Well, it's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. <laughs> 